All righty. It's my pleasure to introduce Fabian Gompf, VP of Technology Partnerships at Parity Technologies, who's going to give a overview of the ecosystem being developed around Polkadot parachains. Fabi, over to you. Amazing. Thanks, Peter. Uh, yeah, I'll talk. This is going to be a brief talk, just 10 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to talk about the Polkadot ecosystem, specifically uh, Polkadot's parachain ecosystem. Um, this is mostly to set the scene and give some context for uh, the subsequent sessions. So after this, there's going to be uh, a bunch of um, parachain teams actually talking. So you'll see like a real real world use cases of this. Uh, but I want to give a bit of kind of like metadata and tools. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, you know how this ecosystem looks like uh, from a higher level. So uh, as a start, uh, just to get some um, terminology out of the way, um, and, and we have a common understanding of what we're talking about. Like if you look at the Polkadot ecosystem and you zoom out far enough, and then you look at like who's actually contributing code to this, who's actually building stuff, um, there are three big categories. So you have people building chains. Um, this is, you know, uh, parachains, parathreads, bridge chains, a lot of the stuff that Rob just talked about. Um, and it's also the stuff I, I want to talk about in this talk. Uh, but you do have uh, what I call loosely decentralized applications here. But what I mean by that is either consumer facing applications or higher level protocols uh, being deployed on these parachains. And then infrastructure, which is kind of like a, a catch all uh, term for all kinds of stuff that's being built that isn't uh, actually business logic being directly deployed on a network, but still makes uh, Polkadot more usable or more powerful. So tooling, services, integrations, that kind of stuff uh, all falls into the category. As I said, specifically looking at chains, but uh, the kind of data I'm going to show you and the, the kind of analysis uh, you know you could do for, for each of these categories. Okay, so jumping into it, um, this is the the number, just the sheer number of people building blockchains with substrate uh, mapped out over the last two years. Right? So it starts beginning of 2019 and ends with with, uh, with the last quarter this year. And it is, um, you know, really around the beginning of 2019 when uh, people started using substrate to build blockchains. It's also when we did the first release, the first people, and, and we, we really first started tracking people Doing stuff, doing stuff with it. Um, you know, we're happy to say, like in the last quarter, we uh, passed uh, an important milestone, even if it's just a symbolic one, is of a hundred uh, teams actually building chains with this um, with this framework. Um, you see, not just uh, on this diagram who's building, but also what is live uh, out of this, and you see this kind of started beginning of this year, but then slowed down quite a bit in terms of what's going live and talk, I'll talk about that in a second. But essentially what we're seeing is most of the parachain teams are getting ready to deploy that directly to Polkadot now and go live uh, via that route instead of going live uh, independently. Yeah, so this is a different angle of the same data. It is, again, we're looking at all of the parachain teams, but instead of just looking at sheer numbers, we're looking at what are these teams actually doing? Uh, what are they actually building? So a very high level trend you can see is while you can build general purpose stuff on Substrate, it really shines when you're building, when you're specializing and optimizing uh, for, for something particularly. And uh, you know, Rob touched on this already a, a little bit. Uh, there's three big things that people are optimizing for, specializing into. It's either for very specific applications it's for specific industries or it's for specific problem domains. And if you look at the at this chart on the right, uh, no surprise, DeFi, so decentralized finance, is is the biggest application vertical in the in the Polkadot ecosystem. This it, this reflects what we're seeing in the overarching blockchain ecosystem. Like DeFi is is kind of like the talk of the town right now, and uh, yeah, it is also in, in within the Polkadot ecosystem. But if you look past that, uh, what we're seeing a lot is people building infrastructure pieces and building blocks to eventually enable the development of decentralized applications. So things like oracles, file storage, uh, identity, um, uh, stable coins, decentralized exchanges, they, are, they don't have that much utility to an end user per se, 
but you do need them if you want to build uh, anything that's high level, uh, more high level and more complex. Um, so this is the data from Q3 2020. Um, actually, over the last uh, two months or so, we've seen a very interesting shift away from that, um, or uh, rather an expansion on what people are building. And there's more and more people going into the application layer and more and more people actually utilizing this infrastructure that has been built over, over the last two years. Um, and you'll see some of this also in the parachain teams of like, what is it actually that people build? Uh, not just use substrate to build parachains, but what is it that people build on top of these parachains? And how are they using these, these building blocks? So this is a, uh, th the point of the slide is essentially to show, uh, like trying to find measurements for the maturity of, of, of the Polkadot Parachain ecosystem. So this is funds raised from Polkadot projects, in particular from Parachain projects and, and uh, teams building on top of Parachains. And uh, what's interesting to see is, uh, you know, the financial firepower of Parachain teams has really has really increased over the last month, right? Uh, there's a lot more sophistication behind it, and investors show that, right, or mirror that by being willing to put significantly more money behind these teams. So substrate-based projects have raised over 25 million just in the last three months. Uh, and this, you know, it, this is not even really true. It's significantly more than that. Uh, it doesn't include Web3 Foundation grants. It doesn't include Polkadot on-chain treasury funding. Uh, it obviously doesn't include undisclosed rounds. It, this is really just uh, external funding uh, that's being distributed uh, uh, for deals that are in the public domain. Uh, and uh, this is taking a bit of a different angle. It's more taking the angle of the, the, the parachain teams themselves. So, uh, yeah, again, a development of maybe I'd say like the last 60 days or so is as parachain teams are gearing up for um, parachain support on, on the base layer, um, they're going into, into the public domain with what is it, uh, how are we actually approaching this topic, right? So like how does our technical roadmap and timeline line up with Polkadot's technical roadmap and timeline? How are we strategically approaching uh, parachain auctioning and how can our community or the greater Polkadot community get involved in uh, in, in things like parachain auctioning. So if you're interested in, in, in parachain teams, uh, these, these kind of like roadmap articles are really a, a thing to keep an eye out for. Yeah, and this is, uh, this is a video. Let's hope that this works. So um, I, I've kind of promised with a, uh, with the title of my talk that I'm going to give an overview of the parachain ecosystem. And I didn't actually talk about any particular team, right? So I decided instead of just name dropping awesome teams that are in our ecosystem, I'd, I'd rather encourage you to do two, two different things. It's like one, watch the subsequent talks about, uh, you know, and, and uh, let the parachain uh, teams talk for themselves, but also check out substrate.io slash substrate users. This is a site that we uh, relaunched uh, last week and um, this is just a quick demo video on how this looks like. Nothing too fancy, but essentially what it is, is a directory of all the Polkadot, or I should say the Substrate ecosystem teams. So this lives on the Substrate Dev Hub. Um, they're all categorized, they're tagged. Uh, you can click on them, you get little descriptions. It links out into the specific um, project page. Um, so if you're interested in the ecosystem and you wanna find out what's going on, who's building, um, uh, this is a really good place to check out. And we're updating this, you know, uh, continuously. So it, it's not, a, um, you know, necessarily just a place to, to go on uh, today, but if you go on, on this in, in two months, uh, you know, it, it will evolve with, with what we're seeing in the, in the ecosystem. And this is part of a bigger effort to just make the ecosystem more discoverable and uh, generally enable more collaboration in the ecosystem uh, uh, through awareness. Uh, yeah, and that, that was my time, I think. Uh, so it's either on to questions or the next sessions. 
Thank you very much, Fabi. I'm just going to scroll through the questions here. Um, I think most of these are actually probably better for some of the parachain teams that are about to come up and discuss their projects to address. So these questions will carry over. Keep asking them. Um, I think that it will be uh, more valuable to hear it from the builders who are actually using this technology to implement their projects. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to jump us all over to the next presentation. Thanks, everyone.